Shiv South. It's taken by Crowden. He ducks and weaves, puts it on his left boot and kicks it to centre forward. Out comes Bolognew to South from Anil and takes a really strong mark out in front. He assesses his options. He's got... He's got Parker wide. Parker takes the mark, kicks it up to his skipper, Pearson. Pearson spears it into Schloyd. Good to see him back at the football club. Back in Waffle, back playing Waffle. He'll bring plenty to the south midfield. Schloyd goes up to the wing, and that's taken on the chest by first gamer race, and he skies it. Out they come. Ball's taken by Crowden off the ground. Randall dishes out a handball to Hilly. He can't take it cleanly. Kelly goes in, but uh, Hilly's held without the ball and will take a free kick in the middle of the ground. He plays on now, goes out to the far flank. Very good work by Bletchenden with the double fist to bring the ball to ground. McDonald picks up. He's a first gamer too, debutant. Gave it back to Bletchenden by hand. He's found Paulson. Paulson to Bletchenden. He goes along the ground trying to get it out of bounds. And the umpire said... Play on, away they go. Jones has the ball just out on the far wing, pumps it deep into attack. They fly, Bolognese flies, brings the ball to ground. They box it up to about 30 metres out, straight in front of East Perth's goal. And East Perth's starting quite well, as you would expect. Up they go. Branchy wins it down again. Picked up by Turley, the first gamer. Kicks it outside, 50. McDonald goes in, gets the ball, handballs it out again. Ball's still scrappy, pulled in under. Umpire says, I'll have it. They're about 45 degrees on the far side and about 55 out from East Perth goal. Up they go. It's one down by Branchy. No one can get a handle. Forenka goes in hard. Good to see him back from a knee reconstruction. Souths will love him coming through their mids again. So far... Branchy working really hard with Jones. He's giving himself some space. Good knockdown by Branchy again. Winder couldn't grab it. Gets a second chance. Tosses it out to Bletchen and he can't pick it up. McDonald comes again. He's been busy early, McDonald. And uh, can't get the ball away, but ties it up. It's right over on the far boundary line, right on the corner of 50 uh, in front of East Perth's goal. Up they go. Branchy wins it again. McDonald lays a tackle. Tedesco comes out, Schumacher for East Perth, very good player, gets the ball to Saunders, spins out of one, goes back to Schumacher, gathered by Winder, gives it to Sloyd, Sloyd's got it out to McQuilkin, Rayson sets after it, gets it just inside the boundary line on the member side, puts a stab pass up and finds Noah Strom, he turns around looking to get on with it quickly, goes to the middle of the ground, finds Bletchenden, takes it out in front, just on the edge of the centre square. Right in front of the big number seven that's been stenciled onto the ground. In he goes to Senar Ford. No one can take the mark. It's all East Perth at the ground. Randall picks it up. They force a mistake. Florinka has a flying shot on goal. It's not going to make the distance. There's an East Perth player who's lost his jumper. Zach Strong takes it. Handball to McDonald. Shoots on goal. And it's out on the full. What's going on? East Perth player with the jumper hanging out of the back of his shorts. We might need to get that rectified pretty quickly. Umpire's making him leave the ground. Holding up play till he does so. Wilcox will be the one to bring it back into play. <laughs> oh, footy never ceases to amaze you. We'll be having a word to the supplier of these jumpers uh, ripping so easily. Don't take the cheaper option next time, thanks, club. Wilcox plays on, brings the ball into play over to the far flank. Jones flies, br brings the ball to ground. Van Diemen has the footy now, has a bounce, and another one gets to the wing, sells some candy, dishes off to Tedesco. Tedesco just chips it up to Senar Ford and finds uh, Schofield. Schofield puts in a worm burner, finds Tedesco, like the way he plays. Goes into the pocket, Van Diemen's run hard, can't hold the mark. Keeps it in play. No, he doesn't, and there'll be a boundary throw in about 35 metres around from East Perth's goal on the far side in front of the terracing there. Kicking towards the shelter end. Ball to come back into play. 
Branchy, all on his lonesome. So he wins that not quite easily. Florenka's there. Gets the ball to Sloyth. Sloyth to Turley. McDonald tries to get in and under. Now he does. Sloyth's wrapped it up. Going to be a ball up. Just where they did before. Just around 30, 40 metres out from East Perth's goal. Branchy and Hill. Branchy wins it down. It's taken there by South. Still in play. It's pretty scrappy. It's very humid out there, so players will be finding it tough. They've gained about five metres. There will be a ball in in front of the terracing. 35 metres around from East Perth Skull. It's probably about 2,000 in at the moment in the crowd. Ball comes back into play. Branchy and Hill. Branchy wins it down. Been doing well in these situations. Schumacher on the floor. Winder wraps him up. Umpire says too high. So Schumacher, this is well within his capabilities. He's on about a, a bit worse than a 45 degree angle. On the right side for a left footer. And he'll be shooting from about 40 metres, I'd imagine. Both sides have been quite willing, but East Perth have been into attack inside 50 a lot more times. Grease slightly favouring the shelter in. In he comes, shoots on goal. No one moves, and that's a great start by Schumacher. Gets his first. And East Perth hit the lead with the first score on the board. So East Perth, one goal straight six to South Fremantle, gets to score. Branchy, though, been doing really well around the middle of the ground with the ruck knocks. Um, and he's given Jones a little bit to think about. Souths have been sharing the ball well, just been sort of breaking down around half forward. East Perth very, very skillful across the middle and got good decision makers. Just going back to what we were saying before the game, before the game and that uh, Souths have quite a few new players. We've got five dead diptomps today. Lewis Racing from Glenelg, Izzy Winder from West Coast, and the ball goes up again. It's one down by Scott Branch. He robed it, however. Now Crowden gets the clearance. Gets it out to Tom North. He's tackled by McDonald. Taken by Saunders. He just pops it high and long to Senar Ford. Coming out was Bolognese. Couldn't grab it this time. Recovers it on the ground. Does very well. Bullez is out there for East Perth. But Pearson miskicked it. Crowden finds the ball again. Shovels it inside 50. And a jury runs into an open goal off the pack. And East Perth have got their second in a quick fire. And now, the Souths won't be happy about this. They did just about everything right there, except they weren't clean with the football. East Perth just getting it. The message is obviously bang it forward as quick as you can. And Amadjuri has got his first and East Perth's second. So just going back to what I was saying before, Lewis Racing, Izzy Wine has come from West Coast. Uh, He's a talented player who will go mid and forward. Lachlan Turley, who has come through the ranks at South, who was a key back. He'll likely take Hill and, uh, and the skipper Pierce and the dangerous Schofield. Connor McDonald was crossed from the Demons after playing in the Colts GF last year in the 19-year-old place, his first league game today. And he'll need to bring pressure early and use his run as a high half forward to unsettle the East Perth defence. They've had the ball up, it's tied up in the middle. So far it's East Perth two straight, South from Anna, we have to score. Ball goes up, shoveled forward by South. Byron gets after it, the 55 game player. He has the ball now at half back, tumbles it forward on his left boot. Oh, uh, Raycos is uh, bumped out of the way, still has his head over the footy, and umpire's going to ball it up. Tell you what, these East Perth bodies look quite seasoned. They're an experienced outfit. They had a really good year last year, and they, as I said, they've gained a lot of confidence in each other. Branchy wins the knockdown. Raycos can't pick it up. Sloyd head over it, as he will do all day. Umpire's going to ball it up again. It's on the far half forward flank for East Perth. This time, Jones wins it down. Crowden having a really good day. Got it to Hilly. Hilly out to Schumacher. Shovels it in forward. Uh, Hill can't take the mark. Dumped forward by Medhat. Really good team play. 
They scram for it. It's in that square for East Perth. Wrapped up. Umpire says I'll have it. So it's about 10 metres out, just in front of the points for, for East Perth. Hill to do the honours with Zach Strom. He knocks the ball down. Taken by Turley. Don't know how effective that disposal was, but the umpire said Jard Friend and Tackle. They're going to ball it up again. It's gone a little bit deeper into the pocket. South's fighting on. East Perth just look like they're really up for it. Strom wins this one down. Sloy takes it onto his left boot. Just goes around the boundary line and waiting out there was Tom North. Took an easy mark right on the 50. Letchenden on the mark. For Souths. He's just worse than 45 and he's going to back himself in here. Tom North had a great season at halfback last year. In he comes. Shoots from 55. Puts it up long and high. And he's missed. So it's a behind. The first blemish on the scoreboard for East Perth. And uh, that one goes to Tom North. Ball ball back into play by South Fremantle. Gets right up to the wing. Strom brings it to ground. That's Noah. Tackled by Ferreira. Comes back to Sturrock for East Perth. Byron meets it well. Can't hold the mark. Now he gathers the ball on the ground. Gives it backwards to Turley. Turley goes to Schloyd. Has a bit of time. Shoots it out to Byron. Byron gets it to Bletchenden. Bletchenden to Winder. Winder can't hold on. Byron's there again. In everything at the moment, Glenn Byron. Gets it back to Turnbull. Turnbull goes long up to the flank. Paulson can't mark. Kelly's there. Taken by Wilcox. Wraps it up. And on the far half-forward flank for South from Anil, right on the point in the square, there'll be a ball up. Up they go. One down by Jones this time. North takes it. Handballs it back. Kelly gets it. Gives it to Bletchton, and he's under pressure. Strom sockets the ball out. And taken without the football, Ferreira has a free kick. Plays on immediately. Goes deep. They jostle in there. Paulson couldn't get a run in it. And backing back well was McCready. Took a very safe mark in the fence. Goes across to the pocket and finds Raykos. Very serviceable player last year, Raykos. He finds Hilly still inside D50 on the members' side for South Romano. He goes backwards. Away they go. And Wilcox can't take the mark. So ball will be thrown in. Inside South Romano's Ford 50. Over on the far side, on the prison side of the ground. Anyway, you took me a bloody... I was probably the game was over. Yeah. He goes, oh, I'm going to be here for the league. You're down there watching Mitch. And I said, you didn't tell me who was playing. Ball comes back into play. <laughs> Zach Strom and James do battle. Ball's picked up really well there by Parker. Goes off the outside of the boot. Goes the wrong way. Ball can't be uh, taken there by Sel Mary. And... Schumacher now has the ball in the middle of the ground. Goes out to Tedesco. He's all on his own. He's got a paddock to work in. If he can gather it. Getting closing in quickly was Ferreira. Up they go. Ball comes to ground. Turnbull gathers off the ground for South. Gets it out to Rayson. Working hard inside D50. He finds Winder. Winder now brings the ball up the ground to Parker. Parker takes the mark on his chest. Plays on. Gets to the wing. Turning. Has a little bounce. Looking for support. Winder has it. He's got two to him. He gets it out there, finds Main. Main goes on the 45. That's a great pass to Turnbull. Takes ah, it to 55. Yeah, Looking out there the on his own. He's yeah. fletching and can't he's mark. Kelly's there in support. Wilcox for East Perth. Getting yeah, across on. Kelly down. flies in. Yeah, yeah, Wilcox yeah, kept it in play. Yeah, Kelly yeah, has it now. Yeah. Taken over line. The uh, yeah, ball will yeah. be thrown in about 20 metres around. The boundary on the terrace inside, or the prison side, from South's goal. That was a good bit of good build-up by South, and uh, starting to get a bit of it now. Strom and Jones, that's Zach Strom. Scott Jones doesn't dispose of it properly. Donaldson shovels the ball out to Sloy. They got it to Bletchnan. He fires on goal. There's a soccer through, and Strom has soccer to goal. That's Zach Strom. Well done to South Fremantle, they get their first goal of the day. So, South Fremantle, one goal straight, six trailing. 
trailing East Perth, two goals, one thirteen. There's a snap from Bletchenden. In they go, picked up off the ground by Strom, snaps it around on his right. Well, it must have been a behind. It was a behind. They celebrated like it was a goal. It's only a behind. South to bring the ball in play now. McDonald, it's racing. Racing, short pass. Coming at it hard is Main. Ball was gathered there by Angus Scott. Rebounded by South, and Branchy takes a good mark on his chest in the pocket. Umpire said he bobbled it over the line, so it'll be a ball in. Just about 35 metres around the boundary line on the prison side. Strom and Jones. This is one by Strom. Turnbull can't get a handle on it. Comes to par, uh, to Florenka. He does. Got it to race and he sets it up high. The mark there taken by Watt, wearing now the number 64. For East Perth gets it to Wilcox. Very, very consistent defender last year and wingman. It's taken there by... Taylor North, he goes inboard. Sinar Ford, ball's on the ground. McDonald lays a tackle on Tom North. Gets it out. Coming through is Zach Strong. He's tackled the ground. Umpire says, I'll have it right at the top of the 50 for South Fremantle. So both teams fighting on pretty hard here at this point in time. Strom and Jones. One down by Jones. Just Turnbull at the teeth of it. Bletchman can't pick it up. Sloyd does. Gets a handball to Florenka. Gets it to Bletchman. Back there to Main, had his head taken off. Sorry, Pearson had his head taken off, the skipper. And he's on the centre wing now on the member's side, just on the edge of the square. Goes long and strong. Sinar Ford looking for Strom. He can't mark. That was excellent body work by McCready. Outsized, but did that so well, the East Perth defender. I know he's rated highly internally, but he's... Uh, very underrated outside. Wilcox has the footy again. Just outside D50 for the Royals on the prison side. Goes long down the line. They set themselves. Bellamy crashes the pack. Goes up there with Schofield. Brings the ball to ground and there'll be a ball in on the wing. Just in front of the scoreboard on the prison side. Branchy now back into ruck duties. Going with uh, Zach Hill from East Perth. The former demon. They go. One down by Branchy. Schloid head over the footy. Unlucky not to get a free kick. Being brought to ground by Schumacher. It's going to be a great battle all day, Schumacher and Schloid. It is absolutely mouth-watering. Up they go. One down by Branchy. Taken by McCready as he bursts through the pack. Picked up there by Tom North. Gets it to Nathan Eaton from East Perth. Drives it long to the forward line. Schofield gets his man out of the way. Byron's after it. Sees the ball over the line. There'll be a throw in, in the forward pocket on the prison side for East Perth. They really go quick, East Perth, and just go with that long kick to the contest, backing their men in to win it at the contest. Whereas South Fremantle are really looking to find a teammate with every disposal they get. Good knockdown there by Hill it was. Picked up by Pearson, hacks it out. No mark taken by Bletchenden. Ball comes in the ground. Umpire blows the whistle. There's going to be a ball up about 30 metres, 25 metres out from East Perth goal. Just slightly right of centre. Ball one down by Branchy. They come through, does Van Diemen, who's very dangerous in this situation. South's managed to scramble it over the line. He's one that got a really watching this situation, Van Diemen. He's electric. He knows how to find the footy and he knows how to use it. Ball to come back into play. Branchy and Medhat to go at the ruck. Branchy brings the ball to ground. Parker, he's got Van Diemen with him and Amajuri sees the ball over the line. So there'll be a ball up, 25 metres out from East Perth's goal on the prison side. Both sides being really competitive. Ball coming back into play. One down by Branchy. I think it was Byron went without it. And then went back in. Just caught the fickle bounce. Oh, it was uh, Florenka. 
Up they go. Branchy wins it. Ball's gathered by Florenka. Given to Parker. Gets out of trouble well. Goes long down the wing. They set themselves. That's a good strong mark by Zach Hill. Third in line. And he'll bring the ball back forward for the Royals. Looking for options. It's got Scott in the middle of the ground. Goes back to Wilcox. Getting quite a bit of the footy is Wilcox. Comes across to Scott who's running hard. Racing not far behind him for Souths. Looking up for options. Not too many options. So he just goes short to Boulez. Been on the fringes for a while, Boulez. Good to see him getting a game today. Kicks it over. It's there at the top of 50 now to Schofield. Takes an uncontested mark. Umpire just setting the mark. So it's right on the 50. Sloyd's on it. It's a very tight angle. It's a right side for a right footer. And Schofield's going to back himself in this situation. Souths will need to get better at this loose checking. In comes Schofield. Comes around to get a bit of distance on his right. Puts it long and strong. And I think he's just missed to the near side. Yes, Schofield gets his first score of the day. Parker to bring the ball back into play for the Bulldogs. He goes out to the prison side. Spots up. Florenka gives it back. Gives it to McQuilkin, who's run on. Gets a great kick out the back to Zach Strong. Drop what he should have taken. Main picks it up. Gets it out to McDonald. McDonald shovels it out to Kelly on his knees. Kelly comes backwards. That's good work by the Bulldogs. Winder has the footy. Not a very good handball, though. And Medhat picks up the crumbs and then kicks the ball long and high into the forward line. Parker sees the ball over the line. Insufficient intent. He's asking. Umpire says no. And uh, there'll be... The ball will be thrown back into play. <laughs> About 10 metres around from the point post in the prison side for East Perth's goal. Up they go. Medhat tries to get nearly five. Branch. Oh, what's the umpire seeing? Reckons Medhat was pushed out. I'll tell you what, there was nothing in that, and Medhat actually jumped at the footy and jumped forward, and he conned the umpire there. And uh, Branch is very, very unlucky. But Medhat knew he was outsized and tried a little tactic and it worked. Pretty sharp, pretty good sharp shooter. He's going to shoot this from about 30. And it's tighter than 45, right side for a left footer. In he comes, Tom Medhat, last year's mark of the year contender. Thanks for the honour of that too, by the way, Tom. As he puts it up, they like it. And that's a goal to East Perth and Thomas Medhat. So on the scoreboard, it's South Fremantle one point. East Perth, three goals, 220. They've been really competitive, South. They just haven't been able to get the score on the board. And they'll be wanting to rectify that very shortly as we've just clicked over 24 minutes on the clock. So we're well into time on. And Todd Curley... Will be happy with the effort, but he won't be happy with the score. Whereas Ross McQueen, he will be delighted at what his charges have brought in this first quarter. And the fact they've been able to capitalise. Branchy and Jones. One down by Branchy. He had the better of the knocks at this point in time. Umpires found a free. Going East Perth's way. An infringement, a high infringement. The umpire said, off the ball, going to Crowden. Against Izzy Winder. Just clicked over 25 minutes. Crowden, what? Crowden just comes around on his left foot. Goes long and strong. It's a helicopter punt into centre half where Branchy can't take the mark. It's picked up by Hilly. It's a handball, but that's intercepted. Well done by Parker. And then it's brought away by Bletchen and a big long kick up the ground. Good mark by Jones on the half-forward flank. 
plays on. Crowden has the ball again, right hard up against the boundary. Goes right into the hot spot. They fly. Turley can't take the mark. Over it was Emma Jury, taken by Zach Strom. Gets a hand. They get the ball away now. Do the Bulldogs. This is Byron. Gives it to Pierce and the skipper. Spears the ball up the wing and he finds Noah Strom. He goes back into the middle of the ground and finds McQuilkin. McQuilkin has options. There he goes. Finds Zach Strom. He's worked really hard to get up the ground. Goes long. McDonald makes the contest with North. Picks it up. Gets a handball to Donaldson. Donaldson to Sloyd. Sloyd gave it back to Ferreira, who was brought to ground and penalised holding the ball. So East Perth swart another attack. This will be Angus Scott for the Royals. Puts in a step pass. It's smothered by Ferreira. Gets a second go at it. They tie it up right at the top of the South Fremantle's 50. Just on the prison side, right on the 50 metre sign. One down by Strom, ball comes out. Sal Mary gets after it. Handballs to Winder, looking for options. Backtracks, little short pass, that's a very good kick. Finds Main, he drives it long and strong. Polson drops what he should have taken. Gives it to Bletchenden. Bletchenden sizes up the sticks. McDonald makes it a good fist of it. Over the back, ball comes to ground and there'll be a ball in just in the forward pocket for South Romano, right in front of the city officers on the members' side. Ball to be brought back into play. Polson and Jones to do the battle. Ball comes in. Jones wins this one down easily and then gets it himself. Gives it to Tom North. They come around the boundary line. Umpire says it's out on the full. Parker to take. No, it's got to go to Donaldson. Right on 50, right on the corner of the boundary line. Pretty close to it anyway. Donaldson plays on quickly. Umpire calls him back. Hadn't set the mark. That's disappointing because that was a goal to the Bulldogs. They would have been desperate for that. Bulldogs players now have to make an effort to get off their man. Don't know whether Donaldson thinks he's got the leg from there. They're awake to the play on. Everyone's standing still. It's just going to go long to the top of the square. Plays on left foot. Goes to the top of the square. They fly, and it's a good mark to McCready. Geez, he keeps the eye on the ball, that young fella. Comes out to Crowden, takes the mark. Umpire says a bum ball, play on. Goes to Tom North. Now they play on, goes to Crowden. Tedesco comes at it, but well done by McQuilkin. Meets it well, gives it back. Winder has it. Short pass finds Parker. He's too far out of school. Gets around, handballs to himself. Picked up. There by Taylor North, siren goes. In a quarter time, South Fremantle have one point. East Perth, three goals to 20. And if we just take a moment to check the stats before we go to an ad break. Up they go. No, it's a nil all draw this time in the ruck. Schumacher gets it on his left boot. Flies it into centre forward. Out they come. There was a good effort there by Bolognese. No, it was, uh, yeah, Bolognese. But now East Perth have a goal in quick time to Van Diemen. Just once again, forcing the ball forward at every opportunity. Chaos-type football. South not able to get their hands off it. Not able to apply enough pressure there. And uh, East Perth capitalising. You have to be on your medal with this side. They are a gun side. Here they go. Little shovel forward. Good shepherd. And then Van Diemen capitalising off the ground. Really uh, good goal to the East Perth opportunist. Rightio, back to the middle of the ground. Wouldn't even have been a minute of play. It was good work in the middle of the ground there by Schumacher to get the clearance. 
They're going to have to watch it. One down by Branch. He tries to go back to Warner. Picked up by Florenka. Has a look. Then puts up the ball high and long to the half forward flank. Out came Strom. Out marked by McCready. He is having some sort of game. And then fires in the pass to Schumacher. Schumacher long down the wing. Really good effort by Jones. Ball comes to ground. Gathered by Florenka. Playing a pretty good game. Short pass to Bletchen. Takes a mark just inside the boundary line. Goes backward to find Pearson. Pearson. Comes bites off the 45, finds the king of Carnarvon, Byron. Right on half-back flank now. Glennie Byron, what does he do? Goes long down the wing, looking for the contest. Strom flies. Was he pushed out of it by McCready? Umpire says no. McCready takes another defensive mark, gets it to Crowden. Crowden has a second crack on their left foot and lowers the eyes and finds Tedesco. Tedesco comes inside. Emma Jury clean. Met hard by Bolognese. Umpire... Says it won't be a 50, but uh, Tedesco is going to have a shot. No, Emma Jury is going to have a shot from 45 metres out, dead in front, to make it two in about three minutes for the Royals. South's midfield need to get moving on this. Emma Jury just composing himself. Takes a walk. Runs through the paint, strikes it from 49. It's a good-looking drop punt. They all like it, and the Royals are on fire. Emma Jury gets his second, and the Royals go to five goals, two, 32, to South Fremantle, one point. And this is starting to get out of hand for the Bulldogs. They need to chip away now and just get, them, get their hands on their football and get themselves back into the game. Turnbull's gone into the middle of the ground with Winder, Schloith, Winder, Schloith and Branchy. For the Bulldogs, Raycos is in there for East Perth with Crowden and Randall. One down by Branchy. Win Winder picks up the ball, gives it to Turnbull. Turnbull goes to Sinar Ford. They all fall over and that's a free kick to McDonald. Front position. Probably a bit too far out to score. You'd be shooting from outside 50. Started pretty well, the youngster. First game of a league football in the WAFL. Crossing from the Demons after playing in their Colts grand final last year. He likes his chances, though, and he's going to have a crack from here. A little bit of breeze at his back. Gets to 52. Puts it up to the teeth of the goals. They can't mark it in the square, and it's rolled across the line. It's off hands. Eaton to bring the ball back into play for the Royals. Been around the football club for farewell, Nathan Eaton. Puts one out to the far half back of flank. Jones brings the ball to ground. Kelly's there for the Bulldogs. Gets a handball to Turnbull. He runs inside 50. Fires on goal on the right boot. And the Bulldogs have their first. The crowd have something to cheer about. That's a great goal from Turnbull. Kelly getting the ball off the ground, firing out of him. Away they go. So off the ground. Kelly running Turnbull. Good gather. Great strike off the right boot from 45 on the run on a 45-degree angle right side for a left footer and puts it straight through the eye diddle diddle. And Souths register their first goal. You'd think they'd want to get two in a row just to get themselves back into this match. East Perth have been known in the past to have lulls in concentration and let teams back in. Branchy, Winder, Schloy, Turnbull versus Jones, North, Crowden and Randall. North tries to soccer off the ground, pushed off at the last minute. Winder picks up, tries to go to Schloy. Taking the ground was North. Umpire said, holding the ball. That was Scott, rather. They've got to play him close, and that's good work by Ferreira. Ferreira's the ball on the wing, the far wing, just on the edge of the centre square. Goes long and deep into the pocket. They get out after it. Both the strong boys there, but Watt grabs the ball very cleanly. 
Runs it out of defence. Good mark to Parker inside the boundary line. Been good today so far as Parker. Gives it to Pearson. He's marked just behind centre wing, the skipper. Goes long, gets around the man on the mark and goes long as in our forward they stand under it. Strom brings the ball to the ground. Sloyd gets it to McDonald. Pumps it on his right foot, looking for goal. It's a behind to the young fella. Getting in amongst it though. South Miranda looking better. Saunders to bring the ball back into play for the Royals. Not many options. Goes long out to the far side because that's the side the breeze is blowing. Ball and new flies can't take it. Crowden gets it off the, off the deck. Gives it to Scott. Scott back to Tom North. On his left boot. Long and strong. Fantastic mark to Parker. He's starting to really stand up. Goes overhead. Kelly can't mark. Sloyd waiting out the back. This is bread and butter for him. Cuts a little arc. Goes on his left foot looking for... A teammate inside 50 and Strom can't gather it. It's over his head. Here comes Donaldson. Handball over into the square. Kelly can't pick it up. Comes back to Donaldson on his left boot. It's a sausage. What a goal from Donaldson. Goal of the day. The Bulldogs get two in a row and they've got themselves back into this match. Better team play from the Bulldogs. Really stemming from the hard work of, hard work of their senior players in... Uh, a good, strong, contested mark by Parker. And getting it on, the ball getting over the back to Sloyd. Sloyd having brilliant ball use. And uh, here's Donaldson off the left boot. That is an absolute cracker. Any level of footy, you see a goal like that, that is going to be goal of the day. We will get the pie and coke tonight. Well done, Donaldson. Branchy. Florenka back in the middle. Turnbull. Winder. Schumacher. North. Crowden. Jones. Jones wins this one down. North takes footy. Gets a handball out. South have the numbers. Taken there by Ferreira. Gets to the king of Carnarvon in Byron who tumbles one forward and he should have done a lot better. Got it to Wilcox. Wilcox. A really good pass to Scott. Scott goes underground to Van Diemen. Lux of fortune. He gets a handle on to Medhat. Medhat wobbles one forward. Crowden's all on his own. Finds Woody. Gets it back to Van Diemen. Goes off the corner and Hilly's there all alone. And now Byron will stand the mark. That was too easy then by the Royals. Doesn't matter whether they stub their kicks or put them along the ground. They've got players in the right positions. And there was Crowden there getting it to Van Diemen. A great little chip into Hilly who was available. Using those three players, it'll keep the Bulldogs accountable. Hilly, right side for a right footer, 45 degree angle, shoots from 40, puts it up nice and high, and he's hit the woodwork. So South Fremantle will bring it back into play. Pearson to bring the ball in. Plays on, chipped to the pocket, finds McQuilkin. Silk, as he's affectionately known around the football club. <laughs> Plays on now and goes long up the wing. They fly, Strom got hands to it, that was Zach. In comes Jones, Kelly, good gather off the ground and then drives it forward to, to centre forward. That's Noah Strom in there. Watt gets the ball to McCready. He quickly hacks it on his right boot. Rayson stands under it, can't mark. There's Bolognew. Tries to get it out for Winder. Now it's Van Diemen. Gives it back to Jones. Jones tumbles one into centre half forward. They come out to meet it. It's a really good tackle by the Bulldogs. Pearson just getting up and making Tom Medhat earn every little bit of that possession. No win there. Strom, Zach Strom gets it out to Rayson. He tumbles it forward on his left. It comes up the wing. Paulson overruns it. McDonald making really hard work. Eaton tackles him. McDonald and Eaton going after it again. McDonald tackles Eaton, brings him to ground. Wraps it. Eaton gets it out to North. North fires it back to McCready. McCready then to, start, to Taylor North. Wilcox has the ball. 
and it's out on the full, up on just in, just forward of centre wing on the member side, and guess who's got it? Parker. So there should be some good ball use here. They need options. He goes long to the hot spot. Players set themselves up. They go Strom. Noah Strom comes three deep. A juggled contested mark. And here's an opportunity for South Fremantle to get three in a row. He's going to shoot from just left of centre, right side for a right footer. You can see the mark there. Good effort by Noah Strom. That's an advantage of big bodies. He's going to shoot from 40 metres out. Right side for a right footer. Just left of centre. Not much angle to speak of. And he comes. Deliberate approach. Gets to 40. Fires on goal. He's just leaned back on it at the last minute. And it's only a behind to Noah Strom. They would have wanted a better from that. It was a terrific mark. Good bit of play by the Bulldogs. Wilcox will bring the ball back into play. Chip pass to McCready. Collection takes the mark. Wilcox running on. He's got Sturrock there further afield. Looking for options. McCready just plays on now. Comes up the wing. Tedesco marks it on the second by. Umpire says play on. Says you're all in it. Runs it across the line. And there will be a throw in on the half forward flank for the Bulldogs on the member's side. Branchy and Hill to do battle. Ball comes back into play. Branchy and Hill. Hill wins this one down. At the pivot, Schumacher. Rayson does well. Sloyd gives it back to Rayson. Rayson spears it in on his left. But to no one in particular. Wilcox can't mark. Here's Donaldson going for another miracle goal. How's it going to bounce? Picked up by Main. Gave it to Ferreira, snaps on his left boot, and that's a sausage. Umpires conferring, all clear. Souths get their third in a row. This has become some sort of game of footy. After East Perth getting the food, uh, first two goals of this quarter, South Fremantle hit back with three of their own. It's not pretty by the Bulldogs, but they're getting numbers to the right areas as Donaldson dribbled in, in again. Main got it out to Ferreira, snapped it on his left, and he celebrated straight away. So game on here at uh, East Fremantle, uh, South Fremantle, sorry, Fremantle Oval, with uh, the Royals leading the Bulldogs by 11 points. They found a way back into the match. Have the Bulldogs. Branchy and Hill to do battle in the ruck. We've just ticked over 14 minutes. One down by Branchy, taken by Sloyd. He's wrapped up by Schumacher. Been a great return to the WAFL today by Hayden Sloyd. One by Branchy, straight down to Sloyd, who's under the pump by Schumacher. Yet Sloyd has lost absolutely nothing with his little hiatus down to Katanning last year. One down by Branchy, plucks it. Well done by Van Diemen. Misses North. Schumacher hacks it with his left foot out to the halfback flank. Working with Selmeri and Boulez. Getting after it, Parker. Gets a shoe on it. It's over the line. What's the umpire going to say? Says ball in. Thought he might have been opting for the insufficient intent, uh, intent. So over on the prison side on the half forward flank for East Perth. Ball to be brought back into play. Branchy and Hill. They've got good separation, the Ruckman. So they'll be able to jump into it. They lock now. One down by Branchy. Goes back to Rakos. Handballs to no one in particular. Bletchenden hits it hard. Ball spills out. Schleuth goes after it. Ball's over the line. And the umpire's going to ball it up. Sorry, it's not quite over the line, but the umpire's going to ball it up just inside of the line. Just forward of centre wing on the prison side for East Perth. Branchy and Hill. One down by Branchy. Good knock, to, uh, but it went straight to Rakos. Rakos of East Perth. Bolognese drops what he should have taken. It's gathered by Byron. Quick handball. Got it to Turnbull. Dished it out to Bletchenden. Bletchenden goes back again to Parker. Parker runs on and goes long down the wing. And all he found was Sturrock standing under it, taking an uncontested chess mark. Sturrock then goes high 
up to the wing. Parker flies, can't mark. Branchy doing the roving in this point. We've got it through his legs. Royals find a way. Rakos has the football. Trying to find Randall. But a burst through now. Really good work by Florenka. Goes. Oh. Umpire says what was infringed by Strom. So what gets the free? Comes across the ground to Eaton. Off the bounce. Play on. Eaton chips it up the wing. Umpire says late hit on Eaton. And it's going to be a free kick to Hilly. Just on the halfback flank. Hilly goes inboard off the 45. Schumacher can't mark. Gathers the ball on the bounce. Nearly falls over. Has plenty of time. Gets a handball to Borlase just inside of the boundary. Runs hard to Schumacher. Sloyth can't catch him in time. Bolognu makes the contest. Really good work there. They all fall over. Raycos attacks it hard. Picks it up clean. Runs through the pack. And then out on his own medhat. Can't mark it. Well attacked by Turley, the first gamer. Gets a ball to a teammate. Not grabbed high. Calling it out by Turley then hacks it down the middle of the ground. McCready reading the ball ever so well today. Hacks it, not a great kick. Finds Crowden on the bounce. McDonald brings him to ground. Umpire says play on. East Perth have the footy. Hilly out on his own. Uh, and Florenka will put his hands on the mark. Good pass to Wilcox by Hilly. McQuilkin with him. Still too far out to score. He's about 60 metres out. On the prison side, right side for a right footer, Wilcox. Goes for the short pass. That's a great lead by Hill. Can't mark it. Did the umpires paid it? Wow, we. I don't know if you thought there was a bit of an infringement there. But Zach Hill, a chance to get his first goal for his new side. 45 degree angle. Will shoot from about 35, right side for a right footer. To be disappointing for the Bulldogs. They've got to be. The Bulldogs have started to hack the ball out of defence. They've stopped looking for for options. And uh, McCready and Sturrock have just been reading the ball coming in off those hack kicks too easily. In he comes. Zach Hill shoots from 40 and misses to the near side. It's a behind. Parker will bring the ball back into play. Looking for options. It's pretty humid out there. Players will be struggling. We've just gone 18 minutes in this quarter. Goes out long and strong. Strom's underneath it. Ball comes to ground. Picked up by McDonald. Just a little hack kick in the air. Lux of fortune. Finds Branchy. Branchy drives it to Sinar Ford. Ball's on the ground. Kelly's there. Did well last time in this situation. Fires it out to Ferreira. Ferreira's caught immediately by Saunders. And umpire says holding the ball. Didn't dispose of it correctly. And in the middle of the ground, he's got Scott. Scott gives it over to a free-ranging Crowden. Crowden's got Jones. Jones back to Crowden. He's run on. Bolognese just gets him at the last second. It's not the best kick, but Crowden's run on. Pearson has him. Bolognese gets after Medhat. Medhat scrubbed it forward. Hilly, the dangerous Hilly, picks it up on his right boot, snaps on goal. And that is vintage Shane Hilly. And uh, that is a goal to the Royals. Scoreboard, 20 minutes gone. South Fremantle, three goals for 22. East Perth, level the quarter, six goals for 50. Uh, six goals for 40. Shane Hilly just onto that right boot, little snap into the square, and uh, the game has gone up a notch. But the Royals have now gone up with the South pressure and increased run. Still not out of it by any stretch. If they can get a goal before the bell and and hold the Royals to nothing, that'll be a satisfactory result to half time, you'd think. Still a fair way to go. About two minutes left in this quarter. Branchy and Scott to resume acquaintances. Up they go. One down by Branchy. Read it the better. Florenka can't get a hold of it. Taken by Main. Snaps on his left boot. Gone to ground as Donaldson. Strom's there. Winder. Can't get the football. Randall of East Perth can't mark. 
comes back to Sturrock on his left boot, tumbles it out, crowd and getting a lot of space. There's Main, picked up there by Amaduri, handballs to Jones. Jones puts out a drop punt out to the wing, and that's a very good mark for Dedha. He, we know he's a great mark, Tom Medhat, and that was no exception. Main letting him know all about it. Sorry, Pearson letting him know all about it. Medhat long to the half forward flank. Branchy stands under it, can't mark. Read well by Van Diemen, can't quite get a handle on it. Tedesco to Amaduri, Amaduri to the goal square. Jones gets down there really well. Turley can't get there in time, and Jones will have a shot on a 45 degree angle. He'll be about 25. He'll shoot from about 30 metres out, the, uh, the veteran. And uh, not jumping as well as he could be today, but just starting to come into the play around the ground. In he strolls, right side for a left footer. Goes off the right foot, like shelling peas for Scott Jones. Pops it in from 35. And East Perth hit back with a couple of goals in a row. So, South need to find something here. They need to get a goal before the bell to keep this game interesting. They did well in the midway through this quarter. They need to find that again. It's just at the contests around the ground, the Van Demons and the Schumachers and the crowd. Crowden's getting a lot of space and they just need to be a little bit more accountable in those situations, South Fremantle. Paulson's gone into the ruck. We haven't really sighted him so far today. He wins this one down. Randall takes it. It's jarred out by Sloyd. Comes back to Paulson. Finds Rayson. Chip pass up. And Kelly, who's done some nice things today, takes the mark just forward of centre wing on the member's side. He's looking for options. He's going to go straight to the hot spot. Not a bad option in this situation. They come out. Zach Strom can't mark. Winder can't pick it up. They go to ground. Umpire says, I'll have it. 25 metres out, dead in front of South's goal. There's going to be a ball up. That was Sturrock that went to ground there. Strom and Jones. Jones wins this one. Goes to Sturrock. Good handball to Tom North. North on the left foot. Snaps it out. That's good effort there by McDonald. He's tackled as he tries to get away. Got a handball out. Polson Handball over the head to Parker, who's been tackled immediately. That was actually Bolognew on the ground there. He and McDonald sporting the same hairstyle and headband. So that was Bolognew on the ground. Up they go. One down by Pearson. Sorry, by Polson to Pearson. Main it was. Kicking the next one. McDonald has it. He's wrapped up. There's going to be a ball up on the half forward flank on the prison side for the Bulldogs. One down by Jones, picked up by Sloyd, taken high right in front of the umpire. And here's an opportunity for South Fremantle. Sloyd looking for options. Not much on offer. Goes to the hot spot. Jones getting back. Good fly there by Strom. Gets a ball to Graham McDonald. Gathered it, then got taken over the line. Ball back into play. It's going to be Jones and Paulson. And they come. One down by Jones. Takes it out of the ruck, then tries to take on the tackler. Gets the kick away eventually. Wilcox brings the ball out of defence. Finds Tedesco. Tedesco up the wing to Randall. They move it so well, East Perth. They, this quarter, have gone to finding targets rather than the chaos footy that they were using earlier in the game and, in fact, earlier this quarter. Randall goes long. Really good back, backing back by Main, but the ball's come down to Amaduri. He acts it forward to an open square, getting under his race and picked up by McQuilkin. Gets it back to race and Amaduri comes in. East Perth arrive in numbers. Hilly's there. Selmeri's there. Racing's in there fighting for it. They force it over the line. 25 metres around from South uh, from 
East Pitt's goal on the prison side. Ball to come back into play. Been a lot of boundary throw-ins today. Here we come. Paulson wins the ball off the ground. Got it to Turley. Turley spirals, spirals one out of defence to the members' side. Picked up by Sturrick. Take gives a handball to Schumacher. Schumacher goes inside. It's over the head of North. Well attacked by Ferreira. Gave it to Turnbull. Turnbull looks out on the wing. And there's a good mark taken by McDonald, who fires a pass off to Sloyd, who's unfairly dealt with. Sloyth plays on the middle of the ground, finds McQuilkin. McQuilkin comes across and finds Rayson. An impressive first day out, the South Australian. Goes down the wing with a stab pass. Turley can't mark. Still, he's gathered the football. Doesn't get rid of it correctly, but the umpire lets it go. And now it's just... It's in between half forward and wing for South Fremantle on the members' side. Up they go, Paulson and Jones, one down by Jones. For Inca, battled his heart out so far today, but right with him is Randall, and the ball goes over the line. Flicked over about 28 minutes, been a few goals kicked this quarter, so it could go 31, 32 minutes this, this quarter. Up they go, Jones and Paulson. Jones wins this one down. Good work by Tom North. Goes for Crowden. Puts it in his sight. Well attacked by Kelly. Winder, Winder tries to get in there. Taken by Boulez. Sturrick pushed off the kick in the last minute, but it's all the Royals in defence. Getting out after it. Really good work by Taylor North. Got it to Eaton. He goes long down the wing and finds Scott. Been reasonably quiet today, Angus Scott, compared to his normal standards. Comes into the middle of the ground. That's well attacked by Bolognese. Got it to Florenka. And Florenka finds McQuilkin. Gets it out there to a teammate who tries to come in board. Too cute. It was Turnbull. They, they tie it up on the wing. It was uh, actually Ferreira. They tie it up on the wing. And it'll be a ball up right in front of the scoreboard. Just forward to centre for the Bulldogs. 28 minutes down. Up they go. Good knockdown by Jones, but it's Shark by Ferreira. Tumbles one forward. Strom can't mark. Scott there. Immediately met by Florenka. Ball stays. No, he doesn't stay in play. So it's inched forward the Bulldogs' way, and there'll be a ball in. Just forward to centre wing on the prison side for the Bulldogs. Siren and at half time, South Fremantle three goals for 22, trailing all aloft. And Paulson starting in the ruck for the Bulldogs against the veteran Scott Jones. Up they go, and it's a nil all draw. Jones gets it off the ground, gets a handball away. Crowden, another handball. Schumacher on the burst, left foot, spears it into full forward. That's a really good effort by Hilly. Gathered off the ground by Hilly, oh, yeah. and he's kicked a point. So that was Van Diemen that led up at the ball, and Hilly sharked it. So first score of the second half to East Perth. They're really good at clearing the ball. Turley brings the ball back into play. Big, long drop punt. They sit underneath it. A really good effort by, by Ferreira. But he could not bring the ball in. In fact, it was out on the full. So Angus Scott has a football. Too far out to score. Drives the ball into the hot spot. They sit underneath it. Big fist from Bolognese. Goes out the back. Zach Hills after the football. Still in play. Rayson picks it up and shovels it over the line for another behind. Been impressive. First time out, Lewis Rayson. Enjoying the bigger grounds over here in WA. McQuilkin runs the ball out. Big long drop punt out to the wing and onto the chest of Zach Strom. He's looking, looking, looking. Plays on there. Big long kick up the wing. Standing under his brother Noah. Can't take the mark. What in close attendance. Ball over the line. 
Just four to centre for the Bulldogs on the prison side. And the ball will be brought back into play. Paulson and Jones. Ball comes back in. One down by Jones this time. Ball's picked up by Bletchenden. Gets it out the back to Ferreira, who's taken over the line. This time right in the middle of the ground, right in front of the scoreboard. Two minutes into this game, into this half. The ball will be thrown in. Paulson and Jones. Jones certainly looking more comfortable against Paulson. He wins this one down. Quite easy. Picked up by Ferreira. Shoveled forward. But now the Royals strike back. Crowden. Been doing as he likes today. Crowden Tedesco. Handball underground. Picked up by McWilkin. Fires it out. Jones drops what he should have taken. Gets back after it. Oh, coming after it. Zach Strom takes a hit. Gathers the ball. What's the umpire going to say? Gee, gave him an eternity. I thought he was going to ping him there. Great effort by, by Zach Strong. That was hard and tough. Head over the footy. Up they go. One down by Jones. Paulson flicks it out to Florenka. No, to Ferreira. Or was it Turnbull? It's actually Bletchenden. Third time lucky, Darren. They go again. One down by Jones. Scott on the move, looking really good. Onto the right boot, up to half forward. Good mark by Hill out on the lead. Too far out to score. Puts in a short pass. Racing car market. Schofield dives. Hilly pushes it out. Well attacked by Turley. Pearson tumbles one out. Paulson meets the football well. Wheels around, handball to Bletchner. He fumbles what he should have taken. Leaves East Perth, comes back to Paulson. Gives it back to Forenka. Goes to race and he's on his own. Looks comfortable in defence. Gives it to the hard running Bolognu. Bolognu out to McDonald. Gets after it with Rakos on the hammer. Not the best kick. And uh, the ball will be thrown back into play. Just four to centre wing on the member side for the Royals. All coming into play. Donald there, not a bad first day out him for him today in the red and white. Up they go. Good knock by Jones down to Randall. Randall grabs the football. Umpire said he's held without it. And uh, takes the free kick. Just forward a wing. Goes inboard on the right boot. Sets it up for the hot spot. Goes over the back. Bolling you can't mark. But <laughs> bounces off Schofield's head. It's chaos in there. Ball shoveled out by McDonald. By hand. Trapped underneath it. I think it's racing. Yes, it is. The two flatmates combining there. McDonald and racing. Up they go. One down by Branchy. Gets to Schumacher. Schumacher, underground handball to Tom North. Tries to push off McDonald. He tackles him. Raycos gets the ball away. Good fist by Turley, the first gamer. Ball comes to Hilly, arm over the shoulder. Umpire gives a free kick. He's, he's an absolute expert at that, Hilly. Temper's starting to flare. The skipper coming to fly the flag. But it's going to be a kick straight in front for the veteran, Hilly. And he will shoot from about 40. Well within his range. He's a very good kick for goal, Shane Hilly. In he comes. Walks through the paint. Gets to 45. It's a good looking drop punt on the way. It's straight over the umpire's hat. And Shane Hilly gets his second for the day. And South Fremantle, three goals for 22. Trail East Perth. Nine goals, six fifty-four. Eight goals, six fifty-four. Shane Hilly. Textbook drop punt. Straight through the eye, diddle diddle. Back to the middle of the ground. They need to get South Fremantle have won most of the ruck knocks today. Not while Paulson was rucking against Jones, but with Branchy there but have not managed to win any clearances. Crowden, Schumacher, there's a sixth sense between them now. 
they'll just handball the ball forward and then someone's there to grab it. Van Diemen's in that as well. Up they go. One down by Jones. Schumacher sharks it. Tumbles it forward to the hot spot. Great mark by McWilkin. Really good work. So South's trying to slingshot the football because they can't win it in the middle of the ground. Goes to Turley. Getting better as the game goes on. Spots up for Anka. Marks on the chest. Plays on. Good looking ball from him. Good dive by, Stro uh, by Parker. Couldn't take it. Drag the ball in. He's going to get pinged here. Yes, because he dragged the ball back in. Didn't try to get rid of it. Looks at the umpire bemused, but no, the umpire's correct. And Sturrock takes the football. Tumbles it straight down the line. Branchy gets a finger on it. Jones can't in time. Rayson goes over the football. Can't pick it up. They go to ground. Umpire's played on. Rayson gets away with it now. Looking for someone to give it to. Throws it on the boot. Umpire said, take him down after he got rid of it. And he looks in a bit of trouble, Lewis Rayson. Getting up slowly. He looked up the ground and there was no one forward. He was looking for someone to give it to. Umpire's asking if he's okay. Doing a concussion check. Maybe he's reporting the player. Yes, looks like he's got it out in the book. Now, still telling play to stop. Now he's called time on, and they're away. Racing on his left boot, goes out wide. Umpire says it's off hands, going to ball it in. And it's uh, just, it's in between half forward and wing on the prison side for the Royals. So it plays a bit stagnated at the moment. Branchy and Jones. Branchy gets up, comes off his hand, wins it down. Parker, head over the footy. Here goes Ferreira. Goes along the ground. Comes back. And then they go forward through Florenka. Coming at it is Strom. Run over the, the line by Hill. Uh, by Watt. And the ball will be thrown in five metres around from the point post on the prison side for South Fremantle. We've just ticked over 10 minutes in this quarter. Polson wins this one down. Got front position. Outside of the boot, Winder, and marked on the line by what? Not 10 play on. Floats one up. They all come at it. No one can take it cleanly. Getting after it is Bletchenden. Picks it up on the line. Goes in board. Ball's intercepted. Good work by the Royals. North fists it away. She's on for young and old at half forward for the Bulldogs on the far side. Came out to Ferreira. Fires one forward. Really good mark. Effort by Polson. Umpire says throw it in. Souths desperately need a goal to stay in touch with this pretty slick Royals outfit. So it's going to be Zach Strom and Scott Jones. Up they go. One down by Jones. Gave it down to Winder. Bletchenden. Parker just kicked smothered. Kicked it into the man on the mark. Ball comes out. Bolognese setting after it. Really good work there by Foring, uh, by Selmeri. Couldn't quite get a handle on it. And the umpire said holding the ball because the East Perth player in Schofield dived on it and didn't attempt to get it out. So Bolognese has the football. Looking for someone to give it to. Coming across the ground to McQuilkin on the half-back flank on the members' side. McQuilkin looking up. Looking for options. Finds Pearson. Pearson plays on immediately and finds Rayson on the wing. Rayson getting back slowly. Spears it into the middle of the ground. That's a good kick to find Bletchenden. Bletchenden goes across to the other wing. Finds Turley. He does a little dance and a jig. Gets a handball there to Bolognese. Bolognese tries to fend off. 
Then handballs to Rayson, who's tackled and brought to ground. High tackle. It's getting right into it, Rayson. Doesn't mind getting down and dirty by the look of him. McQuilkin. Good mark to him. Still on the half-back flank. So Mary's out here on his own further closer to the boundary line. Spots up Pearson, but they can't break through south. East Perth have a gridlock there. That's a good run on by McQuilkin. Still looking for someone to give it to. Not a lot of movement there for the Bulldogs. Goes backwards. Finds Pearson. Pearson chips it back to find Selmeri. Selmeri over to Turley. Turley goes forward. Falls off the ground to Bletchenden. Bletchenden puts up a high kick. Branchy has to go. They came at him hard. And uh, that's really good work there by Taylor North. And they get the ball away through Hill. Coming back. Um, Emma Jury made good space. Couldn't mark it. Ball's on the ground. They battle for it. So Mary and Emma Jury, the Royals fan, want to holding the ball for a kick. Uh, holding for a kick. Scott gathers, but Byron set on him straight away. And uh, there'll be a ball up in the forward pocket for East Perth. On the prison side. Up they go. One down by Schofield. Picked up by Bolognese. Just hacked away towards the boundary line. This ball needs to sit. It does. Only for Rakos. Campbell back to Crowden on his own again. Sees an option in the pocket. Goes for Medhat. Not the best kick. Comes and butters up though, Crowden. Keeps the ball in play. Tackled. Gets a toe on it. Tedesco. Handball to Rakos. Rakos fights off a handball to Sturrock. Sturrock goes inside and that's a good kick and a good mark for Schumacher on 50. And he has got the leg from here, particularly with that slight breeze at his back. We've seen him do this numerous numerous times at uh, Leaderville Oval. Right side for a right footer, but he will do this. He'll have a shot from about 55. On his left. This one's off to the side, and it's a let off for the Bulldogs. Just clicked over 14 minutes. Turley to bring the ball back into play. East Perth able to hold their shape well, when, uh, when uh, Souths go forward, so Souths having no options. They play on now. That's Byron, brings the ball out, looking for for uh, Strom. Strom gets a handball back. <laughs> Takes it again, McDonald. Grab when he didn't have it. Kelly handballs away. Polson gives it to Bletchenden. Bletchenden tries to go for Sloyd. McCready with him. McCready does the better. McCready goes back. Half-back plank. Kicks it down the middle of the ground. Working hard. There was Sel Mary. Got it to Byron. Byron comes out to the wing. That's Noah Strom. With him's Crowden. Picked up there by Rayson. Does well. Gives it to Bletchman. Bletchman on the McDonald's run hard. Has a look Hi. inside. That's a beautiful foot pass Hi, to Sloyd. He's Hi, kept going on with Schumacher on his hammer. Here's Florenka. Florenka. Goes long and strong to the hot spot. They fly. Can't bring it down. Here they go. Balls in dispute. Hilly picks it up. Good handball. Out to a teammate. In Van Diemen, who finds Randall. They just have so much space when they get the footy East Perth. They have a 33-point lead at this stage. Down the wing they go. Angus Scott starting to come into the game. Such a prolific wingman. Has been in this competition for a good number of years now. Goes long down the line. Chips it up. And Turley drops what he should have taken. Should have been more talk from Byron there. Schofield just hacks it into the sky. Tackle as he kicked it, Van Diemen grabs it, and uh, the tackle slips up, and that was way too high by Pearson. And there's a bit of feeling in this. Byron and uh, Hilly having a crack at each other. Van Diemen, long to the hot spot. Out they come. Branchy can't mark. Ball's on the deck. Wrapping it up is Florinka, and he's given a hold in the ball to the East Perth footballer. That was Boulez. A little bit harsh, I thought. Uh, Florinka seemed to have the football holding it into him. Florinka plays on until Salmeri. 
So Mary sees the teammate up the ground, gives it to Pearson. Pearson finds McDonald just inside the line, can't make the kick work, and goes over the top of Parker. It's good, a good mark by Sturrock. Sturrock comes around on his right, drives it in to the hot spot. They're all going to set themselves. Good little shepherd there, and Bolognese takes a good mark. Bolognese goes out to Noah Strom. They're in the back pocket on the prison side. Other Bulldogs, Sloyd making ground. They need to get moving. They need to get a roll on the Bulldogs. They haven't scored a goal in this quarter. Down the line they go. That's a mark there to Turley. Doing well. Made some mistakes, but he still keeps getting the footy. Well done to South Fremantle. They get it down the wing. Ball is seen over the line. And that was Dylan Main that kicked that one forward for the Bullies. On half forward flank now for South Fremantle on the prison side. Game's in a little bit of a stalemate. Players starting to fatigue round one. Even though they've had a couple of scratches, the real stuff is always tougher. It's one down by Hill. Hill has the ball again. Got it to Scott. Scott drives it down the line. Ball goes out of play. There'll be a ball in just on the East Perth side of the scoreboard. Ticked over 17 minutes. Ball to come back into play. Polson and Hill to go at it. One down by Hill. Polson gathers it. Gets a handball back to Bletchen and he gets it to Florenka, to Sloyd. But East Perth get away with it. McDonald lays a tackle on Crowden. Umpire says holding the ball and Bletchenden wins a free kick. Bletchenden looking for options. We're all standing still. He's got no option but to go long down the line. They fly. No one can mark. No one really committed either. Picked up by Byron. It's dispossessed immediately. Ball flicks out into the pack. Bletchenden holds it in there. What's the umpire going to say? He said, I'll ball it up. So on the half forward flank for East Perth on the prison side. And that play's getting pretty scrappy at this point in time. The breeze has picked up, going pretty much across the ground. Hill wins this one down for the Royals. Hacked out by Turnbull. Standing underneath a great courage. Scott coming back with the flight of the ball right on centre wing. Angus Scott, take a bow. He's just going to get up and get his bearings. That was courage personified. Gets a kick out to Saunders. Taken on his chest. Saunders now just long to the half forward flank. It'll land at about 50. They fly. Big fist. Taken by McDonald. Handball's out to Turley. Comes back to McDonald. Another slick handball to Turnbull. Turnbull tries to get it back to McDonald. Can't. East Perth now win the footy. Away they go. This is slick movement by the Royals. Van Diemen's about to run onto it. Picks it up now. He's done two, three races, tackling him. He's got rid of it in the nick of time. It's out now. Glenn Byron, nephew of Stephen Bilsich, brought to ground. And Hilly takes a football, and there'll be another ball up. Four, ten metres inside the 50-metre line. So 40 metres out of East Perth's goal. 45-degree angle on the prison side. One down by East Perth in the ruck. They tie it up again. So it's Hill. Hill and Paulson. Hill wins this down again, doing well, Hill. McDonald dribbles one forward. It's taken by Scott. He gets a handball away. Boulez over his shoulder. High, right into the teeth square. Big fist there by Bolognese. They can't gather the football. That's good work. Hill can't gather it. They tie it up. There'll be a ball up just inside the 50 for the Bullies. On, uh, sorry, for the Royals on the members' side. Polson and Hill. What's Crowden going to do here? Hill wins it. Picked up by Polson. He's wrapped up immediately. They wait for the whistle. It's gone about two metres forward for the Royals. 45-degree angle. Members' side. Polson grabs it out of the ruck. Gets a kick away backwards. 
Ball dribbles away and it's seen over the line Sell by Sel Mary. So there'll be a throw in in the forward pocket for the Royals on the member side, just in the front of the uh, the bouncy castle, the children's play area, wonderful atmosphere, wonderful family day here at the Waffle. Up they go. And uh, there's been a free kick sided. Sloyd laying on the ground. It's going the other way to Hill. I didn't see what it was for. So Medhat. Sloyd's up now. And he's on a 45 degree angle and he will shoot from about 35 metres. Paulson's on the mark. They already lead by 33 points. This will make it 39 if Med Hat can kick this. In he goes. It looks pretty good. He likes it. Umpire makes no mistake. And Thomas Medhat has his second for the day. So on the scoreboard, South Fremantle, three goals for 22 to East Perth. Nine goals, 7.61. So unless South Fremantle can do something drastic, the Royals look to have this one sewn up already 23 minutes into this third quarter. They've only kicked three goals for the game, all in the second quarter, struggling to get the ball forward. The midfield are not able to clear the ball or make the most of Branchy's rack knocks at this point in time. So they'll have a bit of work to do, the Bulldogs, during the week, you would think, to, to find a bit of synergy. Up they go. Bletchenden's taken it. Tumbles it forward. Well attacked there by Maine. McDonald comes whizzing by. Ball still in dispute. Crowden got the handle back. Now there's that's Tom North. Got the ball to a teammate. Brings it out the wing and Amajuri all on his own takes the mark. He plays on now. Amajuri gives it to Schumacher just coasting by. He's got none to sell. Mary, good mark, good tackle. Got it away in time to Amajuri who spots up Crowden on the chest. And Randall takes a mark inside 50. Just one of these ones that goes under the radar, Randall, but gets knocked up getting touches, and he'll shoot from about 50 metres for this one. A rare time that South's got a clearance in, and they just could not capitalise. In comes Randall, shoots from 50, puts it long and strong. I think it's got there just over the line. Umpire said yes it does, and Randall gets his first. Well, they're up and about the Royals. They are doing stunningly well. Randall wobbled the ball around a bit with his run up. Wasn't anything really fluent about it, but struck it as hard as he could and just got there. Much to the dismay of the Bulldogs, and the Royals went up. Radio back to the middle of the ground. Jones and Branchy. We're at 25 and a half minutes. One down by Jones this time. Picked up by North, that's Tom. And the umpire's going to ball it up again. On the member's side of the centre circle. Up they go. Jones wins this one down. Takes the ball out of the ruck. Just gets a kick to it. He's a brute of a man, Jones. Selmeri and Matt Hat tangle up. McDonald, uh, Bolognese went for the football, but Matt Hat went at it really hard. Won the ball, fires on goal, and it's out on the full. Yes, Medhat really attacked that tough. Bolognese could have done a little bit better there. Turley has the football. And a short pass to Byron. Takes the mark. Brings it out to, to Winder. Winder takes the mark. Still inside D50. Looking for options. And finds Branchy. 
He hits that and takes the chest mark. He will kick it. Handball's just inside D50. Gives it to Byron. He kicks long down the wing. Here comes Noah Strom. Gets underneath it. Umpire says a push out. And Noah Strom wins a free kick. What have they got forward of the ball, the Bulldogs? Strom goes backwards. Finds Byron. He goes into the middle of the ground. There's Bolognese. Sets sail with a big long drop punt to the hot spot. Oh, nearly a, a really good mark to Zach Strom. Laying on the ground, nearly a chest mark. Ball's tied up. 35 oh. metres out from the Bulldogs' goal. And there's the siren. And at, at uh, three-quarter time, South Fremantle, three goals, four, 22, trailing. East Perth, 10, at 7, time, 67. Four, That's a 45 to Schumacher and Crowden. And Randall have just been too strong. Good knock by Jones. Gathered there by Bletchenden. Schloyd goes over the top. Finds Pearson. Pearson goes back. Back through to the middle of the ground. Goes to a 50-50 contest. Forenka's good enough to win it. Gets it to Bletchenden. Bletchenden throws it on his boot to centre-half forward. Bolognese can't take it. There's a change there. Bolognese to centre-half forward. Kelly goes inside. Short pass. And the Bulldogs start. Off in fine fashion with Donaldson coming out and taking the mark out in front. He'll have a shot from about 30 metres on a 45-degree angle right side for a right footer. That was better by the Bulldogs. Of course, the old architect slowed in there with the clearance. So the big change there from, uh, from Todd Curley. He's put Bolognese into the forward line where he's played mainly in defence all day and he came out and made a contest then. In comes Donaldson, shooting for his second goal. Right side for a right footer. Left foot, puts it long and strong, straight through the middle to Brandon Donaldson. And uh, the Bulldogs get a much-needed goal. They go to 4-4-26, 28, to East Perth, 10-7-67. So bring the ball back to the, bring the ball back to the middle of the ground now. Players resuming their position. See McDonald's gone onto a wing. Did sort of start as a high half forward. So he'll be looking forward to running around and seeing uh, if he can make Rakos earn his dollar for the day. And then over on the far side, Matt Parker. He's very accustomed to playing the wing, taking on the very dangerous Angus Scott. That is actually a very good matchup there. Right, oh, no, back they go. Branchy and Jones. Has been as it has been for the most of the day. One down by Jones. Crowden shovels it out, and there's Randall waiting out the back. Chip and Schumacher into position. This has happened all too often. Handball off to Scott. Back to Schumacher, who's run on unattended. Drives it into the pocket. Hilly takes a mark on his chest, juggled a mark, and he will get up and have a sh shot for goal, I'd imagine. He'll shoot from 50 right on the boundary line. Gee, Schumacher's a good player. He goes inside now to Hilly. Back to Scott. He's way too far out to score. About 65 out. Looking for options. Geez, they're all leading up the ground unattended. Bulldogs just looking for the long bomb. Sloyd gets it back, finds Turley. Handball's back to Byron. He comes out looking for McDonald. Ball bounces just inside the line. Oh, no, it's out on the full. And Raycos will bring the ball back into play. Chips it up. And too easy. Amaguri unattended. And that was not great defence by the Bulldogs. Yeah, Amaguri is getting a chance to have a shot for his third goal. It's a tight angle. And he's going to shoot from about 35. Right side for a left footer. Fires on goal. Makes no mistake. Great first game for the year for Amaduri. And he's kicked his third, the highest goal scorer on the ground to date. We just see on the replay, Amaduri trots in straight as an arrow. Tight angle. Wrong side for a right footer, but you wouldn't have known it the way Amaduri slotted that one. Four goals, four 28, the Bulldogs. 
trailing East Perth, 11 goals, 7-73. 74, rather. Oh, 73, I was right the first time. Right, a Branchy and Jones. Jones got better as this game's gone on. Worn down Branchy a little bit. But Branchy has battled valiantly. Up they go. Branchy jumps early. Comes down to Sloyd. Gets together. Handball over the top. Finds Florenka. Turnbull coming through the middle of the ground. McDonald! No, Bolognew. Bolognew takes a good mark out in front. Playing at centre forward this quarter. It was a good pass in by Turnbull. And uh, Bolognew, a really good mark. It's going to go back. Sturrock on the mark, and he'll have a shot from 40 metres out. Badly needed goal for the Doggies. Dead in front. In he comes. Shoots from 40. Strikes it pretty well. Good kick from Bolognew, and he gets his first. So the Bulldogs go to 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four, five, four, 34. To East Perth, 11-7-73. Still a fair bit of work to do by the Bulldogs. Five goals in, five minutes into this quarter. And we've had three goals kicked. Things starting to open up a little bit. Branchy. And Jones. It's one down by Branchy. Coming at it hard is Turnbull. Doing really well with Schumacher. Schumacher wins it. Handballs. It out to Saunders. Great tackle by Turnbull. Kelly gets it to McDonald. McDonald handballs back to Kelly. Umpire said it was over the line. See if they can get another clearance here, the Bulldogs. Turnbull been great in there the last few minutes. Rancy and Jones. Jones and Branchy. Jones wins this one down. Bounce eludes Schumacher. Picked up by Bletchen and back to Florenka. And the ball is out of play again. Just four to centre wing for the Bulldogs on the members' side. In front of that big number seven in honour of Steve Marsh, former player, former great player of the Bulldogs. Ball to come back into play. Branchy and Jones. One down by Branchy. Just Turnbull can't gather. Jones still there fighting on. Randall's in there. Got out by Winder. Gets to Florenka who gets it to Bletchner. And he skies the football. Getting after it is Kelly. He's brought to ground. Turnbull picks it up and walks it over the line. From the half forward flank now for the Bulldogs. Ball to be brought back into play. And they go. Branchy wins it down. Good knock by him. It's gathered by Tom North. Goes around the corner, bangs it on his left. They all set themselves. Good work by McDonald. Brings it to ground. Florenka gets it out. Uh, Boulez fires it out. McDonald head over it. It's tackled. Gets a handball away. Oh, umpire said incorrect disposal. And uh, holding the ball to the young fella. Jones. Good long drop punt down the wing. Down the line. Turley stands underneath it and takes a good mark. He's a big body. Turley goes backward to McQuilkin. Takes it on the chest. They're looking to find him. Try and move the football. Here he goes. Plays on well. Goes long. Long out to the pocket. Bolognew can't mark. Taken by Paulson. Gets a handball away to Kelly. Kelly gets it out to Donaldson. Donaldson fires it off to a teammate who drives it in long and strong. McDonald can't quite get to it. And the ball goes through for a behind.
that was Ferreira that had that flying shot on goal. They've brought it back into play. Scott has the football for the Royals. Finds Crowden. Knocked up getting kicks today, Mitch Crowden. And then on that left boot, Spears in a pass. And that's a good park to Amajuri. Geez, he's been good today, Amajuri. Three goals to his name. Made the most of his opportunities. Tedesco just in front of Byron. They're just loose everywhere. McQuilkin ties up Medhat after he marks it. Medhat wheels around on the right boot, drives it forward, and uh, just sitting there underneath the footy, taking a mark. There it was Schofield. Battled hard today, hasn't been his day, but he's still presented. Chance to get a goal on the board. He's 50 out, 45 degree angle, right side for a right footer. He'll be sh shooting from 50 metres. In he comes. Ten minutes gone in this quarter. Fires on goal just inside the 50s. Put it up high. Umpire's doing a bit of work. And it's gone out on the full. So ball brought back into play by McQuilkin. He finds Winder. Winder goes back by hand to McQuilkin. McQuilkin under... Pressure finds Byron. He cuts inside. Oh, dangerous kick. Turnbull gathers the ball, gives it to Strom. Strom finds Racing on the outside. Here they come out to Sloyd. Sloyd Mungles runs forward. Goes to McDonald. Gets his head over the footy. Can't quite pick it up. East Perth have got it now via Tom North. He goes out wide and finds Schofield. Parker with him. Plays on quickly. With him is McQuilkin. Does well, McQuilkin. Wraps up Hilly. Umpire says play on. Now he'll say I'll have it. So just four to centre wing for the Royals on the prison side. Up they go. Good work by Jones. Umpire said over the shoulder. Jones wins a free kick. Bit sloppy there by Branchy. Gives it off to Scott. Scott hands over the top to Schumacher. Best on ground, Schumacher. Uh, to this stage, him and Crowden sits it back. Medhat can't take this one. Uh, Strom, Noah Strom, handles the ball backwards. It's all blue, though. It's all royal blue. Somehow, Pearson emerges over the top of Bletchenden's head. Ball sits on the line, then rolls over. Just outside of the forward 50 on the prison side for the Royals. Bit of sting going out of this game now. 12 minutes into this quarter. They go. Branchy wins the ball down. Crowden attacks it, does very well. Ball's still in dispute. Schumacher and Schleuth go at it. Comes back out. It's good work by Saunders. Puts it forward. Ball's back in dispute there. Well attacked by Noah Strom. It's tied up at the top of the 50 for East Perth. Umpire's going to ball this up. Up they go. One down by Branchy. Hilly gathers it, but he's tackled immediately by Turnbull. And it will be a ball up right where we've just had it. Here goes Jones and Branchy wins it. Gets him in the clear. Kelly overruns it. Crowden fires a handball out to Saunders. Saunders onto Tedesco. Onto his left boot. Long to the square. Over the back. Amaduri a chance for a fourth. Keeps it in for Boulez. Can't get it to boot. Umpire said it's gone over the line and it's a behind. Rushed behind. Pearson to bring the ball back into play. Rightio, Pearson brings it out to half forward. Zach Strom gathers the ball. Umpire says high fend off and Tom North, who's played a really good game today, has the ball just forward to centre for the Royals. Just goes long to the hot spot. They stand under it. Good knockdown by Turley. McQuilkin gets it out to Byron. Byron runs out of defence. On the outside of the boot, goes to a one-on-one -on -one with Polson. Polson marks it. Umpire doesn't pay it. He's looking for someone to give it to. There's no one there. It's not the best handle. Donaldson finds it. Comes back to Donaldson by hand. He gives it to Florenka. Forenka down the wing. Paulson gathers. 
He's got to get it up. McDonald has it. He's set upon immediately. Umpire says, ball it up. It's going to be Paulson and Hill. Up they go. One down by Paulson. Takes it out of the... That gives it to Parker. Florenka goes off the outside of the boot. Down the wing. They all stand under it and floating across the front. Easy as you like, McCready. He's done that a lot today. Liked his efforts. East Perth in full control here at this point in time. They've got a six and a half goal lead and North just takes an uncontested mark on the wing. In goes North, plays on now. Goes long to half back. They all stand there. McQuilkin gathers. Fires out to McDonald on the half back. He can't mark it. Scott's with him. Tries to pick it up. Scott worrying him out of it. He still fights on there. Puts the body in. Ball's still in play. Ball's over the line. So it'll be a, a throw in on the half forward flank on the prison side for the Royals. Who are kicking towards the city office end. Ball comes back into play. Hill and Paulson. Hill wins this one down. Paulson. Shark, they got it to Florenka. Florenka into the middle of the ground. Oh, Selmeri gets a cruel bounce. Still there, though. Donaldson has the footy now. Gives it out to McQuilkin. McQuilkin has options up on the wing, and that's Parker, the veteran. Parker plays on, goes long. Coming out to meet it was Main. Can't mark, so goes over his head. Wilcox battles on. Main gets back and ties him up. What's the umpire going to say? Holding the ball. Be a free kick going to the Bulldogs. The former skipper will come back and take this mark. Watt getting up very gingerly from that last contest. Dylan Main. Very tight angle. He'll be shooting from outside 50. Right side for a right footer. Right here on the member's side. Puts it up. It starts wide and stays wide. Goes to the square. No one can mark it. Schloid underneath. Ball over the line. Be a throw in in the pocket on the prison side. About five metres around from the point post and the Bulldogs for the Bulldogs. Got Zach Strong and Scott Jones in the ruck. Up they go. One down by Jones. Gets it down. Schumacher. Shovels the ball forward. McDonald takes a mark on his chest. And he's within scoring distance. He's looking for options. Scott's on the mark. He'll be shooting from about 40. It's a right side for a left footer. And it's a worse than 45 degree angle. The angle. A worse than 45 degree angle. Sets himself. Walks through the paint. Set sail, gets really close to the man on the mark. He's put it up. He's got it. The youngster, that's his first goal in league footy for the, for the bullies. They get around him. Well done, young Connor McDonald. He's had a pretty good day at the office for a first timer. And uh, South Fremantle go to six goals, five, 51. Sorry, seven goals, five, 51 to East Perth, 11 goals, eight, 73. Six goals, five, 41. East Perth, 11 goals, eight, 74. He liked it straight off the boot. It hasn't been his forte, the set shot, McDonald coming through the juniors, but he's certainly uh, made no mistake there. Well done to the young fella as he comes off now for a well-earned rest. I know, ball back to the middle of the ground. And uh, one down by Branchy, picked up by Crowden. Scott kicks the ball forward. Doing really well, Scott. Tedesco can't mark. The Van Schumacher's there, handball's out. Coming out to meet it, he's Amaduri, so dangerous. Puts it up forward, floats it over the head of Turley and Medhat. Off the ground. It's a behind. 
It was actually Hill, not Medat. Been pretty good today for his new side, Hill. Souths have fought on this quarter, but they'll want to rectify what happened in the first and third quarters, that's for sure. Main, Pearson has it to McQuilkin. McQuilkin back to Pearson. Pearson back to the middle of the ground, two on one. Jones, that's like just shelling peas for him. Just comes across, third man deep. Easy mark over Zach Strom. He's got Saunders out there all on his own. Turnbull goes to mark him up. Probably about 10 minutes left to play in this quarter. And coming out to meet at Medhat. Strong mark out in front. Pretty well uncontested. And uh, he'll be shooting from outside 50. 45 degree angle right side for a left back. Saunders puts in a bit of a bullet. Medhat had enough time to stand there unattended. They've really got to put more pressure on uh, the bloke receiving the footy. Souths have just given them too much leeway today with that ball coming in. Here he comes, Thomas Medat, last year's mark of the year, called by yours truly, puts it up. Breeze takes it over to the left. They thump it. Jones claims the mark, socks it off the boot. It's touched. Byron gets it to Rayson. The ball's in dispute, goes over the line. There'll be a ball in about 40 metres around from the Royals go right in front of the Bulldogs faithful. So the ball will be brought back into play. Jumps to Turnbull. Picked up there by Florenka, been terrific today. Gave it to Rayson, who's tackled immediately and brought to ground. Umpire says, I will have it. Up they go. This one's one down by Branchy. Gives the tackle. Umpire says it's high. And uh, it'll be a free kick to the Royals. Another shot on goal. This is Van Diemen. Should have the leg from here. We'll be kicking from just outside 50, maybe just on it. And he's just right of centre, right side for a left footer, but not much angle to speak of. And he comes, Van Diemen, very, very skillful footballer. Lovely to watch when he's up and going. In he comes, steps around the paint, tries going for distance. I tell you what, that's gone off to the left. That breeze is catching it at the last minute. And it's only a behind to Van Diemen. Has kicked the goal today, though. McQuilkin to bring the ball into play. He's found Turley, gets it back to McQuilkin by hand. Really been impressed with Turley's game today. Standing underneath it was Selmeri, couldn't mark, falls off hands, goes out of bounds. Just ticked over 21 minutes. Ball to come back into play. One down by Branchy. Crowden takes it. Dispossessed immediately. It's tangled up here in the wing. Jones finds it. Feeds it back to Raycos. Raycos gives it a short pass to Van Diemen who marks. Plays on to the hard running Raycos who drives it long. Turley can't mark. Tedesco paid the mark in front. Thought Turley had first hands there. But uh, no, umpires paid the mark in front. Tedesco dead in front. Will shoot from about 45. And he comes. Tedesco walks through the 50. Shoots from uh, 47. That's a good-looking kick to Tedesco, and he's got his first for the afternoon. Suddenly, South Fremantle, six goals, five, 41. East Perth, 12 goals, six, 82. Tedesco straight as an arrow there, and a bit of icing on the plate 
off on the cake for the Royals. We are at 21 minutes in this quarter. So, Branchy, Scott had a really, Scott Jones had a really good second half. Branchy battled on hard all day. We've got Turnbull, Schloy, and Winder in the middle versing Schumacher, Crowden, and Randall. And those three have been exceptional today. Scott punches it. A bounce eludes Sloyd, gets a toe on it though, comes backwards. That was North, got a handball back to Randall, balls in dispute. Kelly emerges with it, gets it to Sloyd. Sloyd to Winder. Winder to McDonald, who's got someone on his hammer. Dispossessed really quickly. Polson got it out to Florenka. Florenka flying shot on goal, and that's a point. So, ball to be brought back into play by Eaton. Eaton, he'll look to go to the prison side because that's where the breeze is blowing, that's a dead side. Breeze favouring the shelter in now. Goes over the back, Emma Jiri grabs the football, gives it to Randall. They all go back by him, they flick it around by him. Now North stops some props on his left, puts it up nice and high. Really good mark to young Turley. Geez, he's been terrific. The, uh, the young player comes through the South Fremantle ranks. Uh, did a lot of football at Aquinas College and he's been terrific. Well done to Schloyd. Good mark. Gets a handball on to the hard running Byron. He looks further afield and bowling you! Jeez. He looks lively up there. Can take a mark in the air. This is his second one for the quarter. Bolling is going to go back, have a shot for goal. Pretty tight angle. Right side for a right footer. Very good work by Glenny Byron. The nephew of the Premiership captain, Stephen Bilshich at East Romantle. Glennie likes to be known as the King of Carnarvon. And when you kick the footy like that, why not? In comes Bolognese. It's going to shoot from about 40. Set sail. It's a wobbly drop. It's a wobbly mongrel punt. And only scores are behind. So he's been up forward just for this quarter. He's had two shots of goal and he's kicked one goal one. Wilcox brings the ball back into the play, goes to the dead side, finds Scott. Maiden will take that mark. Game's really slowed down a bit now. Scott goes long. Standing underneath it is Strom. Ball falls forward, comes out to McDonald. Quickly onto the right boot, tumbles it forward. Scott comes out to meet it. Gets it off to McCready, McCready to Wilcox. And Saunders can't oh, keep it in. It was actually Sturrock, not McCready, <laughs> my mistake. But there'll be a ball in just outside the forward 50 for South Fremantle on the prison side. Here we go again, Branchy and Jones. Branchy gets up, wins an off. Schloyd, a bit too hot for him. Turnbull gathers, out of the pack to McDonald. Spear just tumbles one forward. Bolognese can't get there. And it was out on the full. Ball's brought back in to play by Taylor North. And he finds Scott. Scott to go long. Just gets it up to the wing. And Tom North sitting in front takes an uncontested mark. Too easy. Schumacher unattended again. It's a handball out to Emma Jury. Byron wraps him up. You could go to war with Glennie Byron, wouldn't you? He's like a tiger at the contest. I think he gets a little bit of that from his old man, Boz. Up they go. One down by Jones. Kick smothered off the boot. Ball's out of play. Just for the centre wing for the Bulldogs. On the prison side, seemed to have an issue with the clock. She stopped ticking on. The Bulldog supporters starting to leave the ground. They've battled on the Bulldogs, but they lost it in the first and third quarters. Sloyd takes it, gives it back to Bletchenden, Bletchenden back to McDonald. Umpire said, thrown by Sloyd. And Schumacher is going to get another disposal. Finds Scott, who won't be far from the siren now. Goes backwards. Saunders. He 
He goes up the wing. And there's a mark to Tom North. Looking for someone to give it to. They just this time he's got no short pass. No one can mark the footy. If Donald gets back, lays a tackle on uh, Van Diemen. No, Bullez. And there'll be a ball up on the half forward flank for the Royals. Up they go. One down by Jones. Turley. Turnbull take, lays a tackle. That was Bletchenden, not Turley, and Bletchenden's won the free. And there's the siren. And at full time, it's the Royals, 12-10-82. South Fremantle, 6 7 43. A big win and a big statement by the Royals down at Fremantle Oval to start round one. If we just look at...